Oh boy. Alrighty, let's uh let's get the train rolling here with some more roasts. What do we got? What do we got? The Gluga Dooley's Deco, their accuracy before rolling is actually just as bad as a real life glue gun. Thanks for the realism, Nintendo! Who needs skill? <laughs> I, I mean, a shoot button when torpedoes exist, am I right? The 52 Gal is actually amazing in Splatoon 1. Alright, alright. Two things wrong here. Number one, uh, amazing? This is the roasts. Number two, Splatoon 1? We're in Splatoon 2. The 7 in Sploosh 7, by the way, stands for the level of skill from 1 to 100 that you need to have for using it. Burst bombs? More like bursting into tears. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. The Hydra Splatling takes as long to charge. Oh, wait, wait a second, just, just checking my watch. As an entire Dragon Ball episode. Ooh, and you know, those are, those are pretty long. Hooey! Thank you, Rapid Blaster Pro Deco, for letting me hide in shame behind a splash wall and ink armor at the same time. Hey, you have all the hero weapons? Congratu- Bad word, -lations. You wasted so many hours that you could have spent practicing, you know, to become a better player. Good job. You know, the squeezer is made from a champagne bottle. So that means you can toast to your opponent's inevitable victory. The blah blobber. The slowest projectile is still slower than my one to one star progress. Can you believe that? <laughs> it's a two in one, folks. No, no. Using an e-leader doesn't make you an elite sniper. It just gives you a clumsy charger that takes a year to charge. At least the pain will be short-lived, since you'll lose faster than an inkbrush main fleeing from any and all combat. Clash Blaster mains are equal to people who can't even get past the how to catch a Pokemon tutorial. Running around at the speed of sound, this run speed up don't really work on the inkbrush. <laughs> Squiffer mains? Why don't you use that weapon to go clean up that salt over there? It's... It's gonna leave a stain on the ground if you don't really do something about it. Thanks. Skidoo, skidae, I am now your prey! <sighs> I grab the Rainmaker, like, all the time. But it still is a pain maker. Roll to the left. Roll to the right and, oh. Ne <laughs> Never mind, I rolled off the stage. Again. Do you want people to absolutely break their switch? Well, come on down to Ammo Nights and pick up this hunk of junk known as the, uh, er, the tr the tra mm -mm -mm, no, the Clash Blaster. It can be a three shot kill. But wait, if you weren't already annoying enough, it could even be a two shot kill with a fast fire rate. So uh, bring it into ranked. Join your friends with it. Just make sure to keep it away from me. Please. The inkjet. A simple special. Activated in danger. Miss a few shots. Then get splatted out of the air. That feeling when Vic Senpai notices you. Oh. <laughs> As a gesture of my appreciation, I'm gonna fix this game's lack of GooTuber mains. Well, uh, hello there, C rank. Nice to see you again. The amount of damage on the aerospray is the amount of people who actually think it's a good weapon. I I, I use the Tenetech because it's the, the squid version, LMAO. Uh, plus, I kind of do like the design of the splatter shot over the octo shot. Uh, don't at me. Uh, plus, plus I like the Splatoon 2 splatter shot design better. Don't don't at me. Also, I, I'm, I'm bad at roasting, so I'm just gonna sit and watch and enjoy the video. Woo! <laughs> is, it, is it just me, or are all vanilla sploosh players like part of one big hive mind? Because their play styles are like <laughs> all identical. Please help. Range blasters are just people who really want a backline, but haven't figured it out yet. The only thing faster than a bamboozler's charge speed are the matches that they play in, which are always lost. Really fast. Heh. <laughs> Guess I'll go bring this one back to Sheldon again.